Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Santosh coming to you from yet another edition of Blessed Life in Christ podcast and video series. And today we are taking a look at prosperity. Last time I gave you a homework to take a look at the several ways in which God supernaturally provided people, His people. And if you carefully read the Bible, you will understand that it is indeed God's will to provide us supernaturally so that all our needs can be met. Praise the Lord. So last episode we started with Peter. Actually he was approached, he was asked whether his master pays tax and Jesus told him to go to the sea, cast the first hook, catch the first fish and take a look at its mouth and they will, he will find a silver coin and using that he asked Peter to pay taxes for both of them. This is how God supernaturally provides his people. So in this episode I am going to explain a few things on how we can grow in our ability to receive from God in a supernatural way. Dearly beloved, first of all, if you want to receive anything, you have to increase your capacity, which is obvious. So how do you increase your capacity to receive? I'll tell you the easy formula, very simple. Most of us, we either earn our living by working for somebody else or some of us may be doing our own business. So for those who work for others, they depend on the paycheck and those who do their own business, they depend on the cash flow and the profit. Okay. Now the point is, increasing our capacity to receive from God is to remove the idea that God has to provide you through your paycheck or through your business only. Okay? Don't limit God. He can provide you. He can bless you in ways that you cannot even think or dream. That is one. And number two, to get things from God, you have to see God that He is supplying your need in a supernatural way. That is, you have to develop your expectation and you have to see it in your faith's eye. And number three, you have to feed on the word of God. This is exactly what you are doing now. You are hearing the, uh, I am explaining the word of God and you are hearing it. And by hearing that, you are taking it in. You know, we uh, saw that, you know, we have to put the word of God before our eyes, to lean our ears to the word of God and to receive it in our heart. So this is what you are doing now. And you are expected to renew your mind. By renewing your mind, you expand the capacity to receive from God many fold. And dearly beloved, this is very, very important. You have to exercise your faith to receive the supernatural provisions. Because we know that it is impossible for anyone to please God without faith. You have to, if you are going to get anything from God, without faith it is not going to work. So I am going to show you a few scriptures and to this is to just enlighten you in the way how God provides you supernaturally. Okay, let us turn to James 1.17 
and I'm going to read it from both King James Version and Amplified Version. By the way, if you know English, I would suggest that you get a Amplified Version Bible either physically in the you know, book form or if you are not able to get it physically, you can always buy it from the uh, web. You know, all uh, you know in the app store, in the Play Store, you'll be able to get it. Okay, now let me read the James 117. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Let me show it how it looks in in uh, the amplified version. Here it is. Every good gift and every perfect gift which is free, large, full. See whatever God gives it is number one free, number two it is large and number three it is full. He doesn't give half. Okay. <coughs> and the second word I would like you to take a look at is Ephesians 3.20. This is magnificent. Let me tell you. I will read the amplified version itself. Now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly far over and above all that we dare ask or think now comes the clincher infinitely beyond our highest prayers desires thoughts hopes or dreams see St. Paul writes here that God gives beyond or infinitely beyond our highest prayers, infinitely beyond our highest desires, infinitely beyond our highest thoughts, infinitely beyond our highest hopes, or infinitely beyond our highest dreams. Dearly beloved, for this words alone, you have to buy the amplified version. Because God is able to work and provide beyond our highest dreams. Wow! Praise God! And let me take a, give you an, another verse from the Amplified Version. It is actually Philippians 4.19. Let us read that verse. Philippians 4.19 And my God and my God will liberally supply, fill to the full your every need. And dearly beloved, we have to understand, I would like to explain the word supply. The word supply in Greek, you know, I would like to give you the exact meaning of that word supply. It means fill up, it means to make full. Number three, furnish liberally. Number four, fill to the top so that nothing shall be wanting. Number five, fill to the full so that nothing shall be lacking. Dearly beloved, that is how God wants to supply our needs. Wow. And let me take you to Psalms 68 chapter and 19th verse Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits even the God our salvation See God daily loads us with his benefits with his blessings with his provisions with his providence he daily loads us I feel like jumping, praise God. And 
so this is the kind of way through which god wants to bless you and me so just like the last episode i'm going to do the same homework today which is to take a look at the bible to find out the several ways and means by which god supernaturally provided his people i will show you couple of examples just a couple of examples and then we'll go from there okay in genesis 22nd chapter verse 6 to 14 we see that abraham is given this supernatural provision how he went there to sacrifice his son and in spite of his son god provided a ram for him and he sacrificed him and that is why abraham named that i'm sorry abraham named that place as jehova jaira and we see in first kings 17 chapter 1 to 6 how the prophet elijah was provided by raven he was given meat and bread and i remember a man of god who explained it while i was young you know we have to remember the fact that when elijah was sitting by the river kerry and he was taking rest the whole i whole land was suffering in a famine and in all the famine who can eat bread and meat daily only the king only the king can eat and you know how god provides elijah god sends a raven to king's place and whatever king is supposed to eat that is what is being provided to elijah and we can see several incidents like that when we look at the life of jesus when he was ministering in this world the very first wonder miracle he performed in this world is in the place of a wedding they were lacking wine and jesus provided them with abundance <clears throat> they were provided the very best wine <clears throat> it was supplied at the last dearly beloved we have to understand that there is one thing which is behind the whole you know being supernaturally provided which is the sowing when we sow happily and into the work of god god blesses you he when you sow your tithes when you sow your offerings when you sow your uh, you know um, blessings into the work of god god has a way now he has to bless you that is how he supernaturally provides for you and me dearly beloved please continue to stay with me we are taking a look at prosperity healing and faith on a continuous basis if you are blessed by this episode please share it with your friends and folks and god willing i'll see you tomorrow thank you